Hey guys, Corey here with Gotta Be Mobile, and today we wanted to show you a neat thing called the Parallax Effect. And uh, what this is is something that was made really popular with iOS 7, but it's actually been available on Android for some time. So as you can see here, my wallpaper on the back is kind of dynamic or active, or as you move the phone, it kind of moves with it, and you kind of see see kind of a, a circuit board inside there on this cracked screen. Kind of more of it, it's almost like a 3D moving effect. It's really neat, really cool, but it's been available on Android for a long time. It's called the Parallax Effect and there's tons of Parallax live wallpapers available on the Play Store to do this yourself. So if you go ahead and go into Display and Wallpaper, go into Live Wallpapers, I've downloaded the Parallax 3D, or 3D Parallax Background is what it's called. There's tons of free and paid ones on, you know, the Google Play Store. And from here you can go into Settings, and uh, change it to anything you'd like. They also have, you know, the standard iOS look. Um, and you can see it doesn't really move around too much. I found objects to be much more kind of active and interactive and dynamic for actually showcasing what the parallax effect does on a smartphone. Um, as you can kind of see there, it kind of does a little bit. Or another really cool one that's built into this app specifically is Android Inside, kind of like Intel Inside. And it kind of shows you a circuit board and it kind of moves, you know, obviously you can kind of see more. So go ahead and tap that set wallpaper and go back into your phone. You've just kind of got this cool little circuit board and it's it moves, it's kind of 3D and it does it both, you know, vertically and horizontally when you kind of turn on the axis of your phone. So it's just kind of really neat. Um, you can just kind of see, it's kind of cool. And again, this is called the parallax effect and it's nothing new to Android. But uh, iOS 7 kind of made it popular, and we've been hearing a lot about it and uh, getting questions on it. But another thing that makes this one great is you can add your own image or background layer, which is something I'm sure a lot of people want to do if you want to pick some really cool kind of wallpaper or a picture of your kids or anything like that, or your pets. And now I have just kind of this really pretty sunset for my background. And obviously, as you can see, as you turn, it kind of, kind of changes with the screen, and you get the point. Parallax Effect adds that dynamic 3D effect, and it's really kind of neat, but there's tons of them available. Real quickly, I'll show you another option. Go ahead and add your own background layer. I found kind of pictures of puppies or your kids or animals or what have you kind of works really good. This one's just one example. I'll go ahead and add this little homie to my home screen. And now, as you can see here, that's kind of a better example of what to expect. You put a couple of photos of your kids or animals or what have you on your device, and that is it. So what it is, really quick and simple, it's essentially a live wallpaper taking advantage of the gyroscope and, um, you know, accelerometer motion on a phone. So go to the Google Play Store, download any of the many Parallax Effect or Parallax 3D wallpapers, and then just, like any other device, head into Settings, Display, and Wallpaper, and then when you go to Live Wallpapers, it will be there. Or most devices, if you go into the app tray, there's, you know, apps and then widgets up here, and you can go to the live wallpapers that way. Or on a Nexus with KitKat, go ahead and tap wallpapers, and scroll through until you find the Parallax app. Then from there, go ahead and go back in there and choose what you'd like, and you are good to go. But that was just a quick look here. Corey with Gotta Be Mobile. Go grab a Parallax app for your Android phone and make it look cool and uh, unique. Thanks for watching, guys.